welcome to Genesis Volatility's educational series. Today we're going to talk about the Solana protocol known as Friction. Friction is a DeFi option vault provider, also known as a Dove provider. Let's explore what that is. DeFi option vaults can be thought of as structured products. These DeFi option vaults provide users with continuous exposure to specific strategies. For example, one of the common strategies is a covered call vault, or in the case of friction, a covered call vault. These covered call vaults allow the users to park their holdings, whether it be Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, or other altcoins, in a smart contract, and this smart contract will then sell covered calls against these assets to generate yield. Another common DeFi option vault strategy is the cash secured put. DeFi users will go ahead and park stablecoin into the smart contract, and then the smart contract will continuously sell cash secured puts, enabling the users to earn yield consistently on their stablecoins. When exploring the mechanics of friction vaults, one of the essential features is the best pricing engine. When DeFi users park their funds in, say, the covered call vault, that vault needs to then go to the market and source call buyers. The way that Friction achieves this is by sourcing call buyers from multiple venues. OTC market makers are a source of call bids, RFQ channels are another source of call bids, and then third-party DeFi option protocols become another source of call bids. By aggregating all the different venues in the market, friction vaults are able to sell calls at best prices. Another phenomenon to consider is the cycle of the covered call strategy. Friction calls this an epoch. If you think about the covered call of vault smart contract, anyone can engage with that smart contract at any time, but this causes a lot of complication. If anyone could deposit and withdraw in the middle of an active covered call cycle, people could game the P&L performance of the covered call and withdraw funds early to avoid any losses for in the money calls or deposit funds late right before expiration to earn pro rata distribution of the covered call strategy. In order to handle this complication, friction limits deposit and withdrawals from the epoch window. Let's look at an example. New epochs start on Friday at 8 a.m. UTC. This is when the covered call vault will go to the market and sell covered calls. They will sell enough covered calls to fulfill all the deposits of the vault. So every deposit in the vault will have exposure to a short call. At this point, once the covered calls are sold, friction will lock withdrawals and new deposits from entering the vault. Any deposit entering the vault will be pending until the new epoch rollover, and any withdrawal will also be pending until the new epoch rollover. By selling short-term covered calls, say one week or two weeks until expiration, the epoch windows are small and frequent, which allows user deposits and withdrawals to be processed and recycled frequently. Let's say that the friction covered call vault sold one-year options. In this case, User deposits and withdrawals would be locked for one year until there's a new covered call selling cycle, allowing withdrawals to be processed and new deposits to be allocated to the strategy. Now that we understand the complexities of processing deposits and withdrawals, as traders, we can start to imagine why there's a structural supply of short dated volatility coming from DeFi option vaults. We've explored two income generating vault strategies, covered call selling and cash secure put selling. In the future, Friction plans to extend the vault library to many different strategies. This leads us to circuits. You can think of circuits as a portfolio of many different vaults. Each circuit is different because it has a different risk reward profile. These risk reward profiles are determined by inductors. This expands the friction user base beyond DeFi traders. 
The friction circuit offering will allow users such as DAOs to have a transparent treasury solution. Currently, DAOs have balance sheet of volatile cryptocurrency or low yielding stablecoin. A good circuit will allow the DAO to manage their treasury in a sustainable way which maximizes performance of the balance sheet but doesn't jeopardize or risk the underlying business. The big key component here is the transparency of on-chain treasury management solutions. Taken together, Friction provides a good suite of solutions for DeFi traders as well as more institutional DAOs. I hope you found this video useful and remember, find edge, capture alpha, and slang size.